Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm doing a September favorites video. So these are all the products that I've been loving and using uh, pretty consistently the last month here. So to start off, one of them is a free product that I got and that you can totally go get yourself for free as well. It is the um, birthday gift from Sephora. So if you have a Sephora card, um, I think it's called like a VIB card, you can go into Sephora and request your birthday gift. So you get one free little gift per year. I don't think it has to be uh, near your birthday or at all like around your birthday. I'm not really sure. So my birthday is in October and I picked mine up um, about a month ago. So it's like just turning into October now. Um, so this is the, so what I got, okay, so you get to choose from two little like birthday gift kind of sample pack things. Um, I forget what the other one was and then there was the one I chose. So the one I chose is this little Marc Jacobs lipstick and it's actually the lipstick that I have on my lips right now. Uh, it is called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and it's number 216. I really like this lipstick. I've never tried Marc Jacobs lipstick before and I'm really happy actually that I have got the opportunity, I guess, to try it um, because I find it like really, really moist and hydrating. Um, yeah, it just like doesn't, it doesn't make your lips feel chalky or dry at all. Like it's really good and I really like this color. I feel like it's like semi-dark but not too dark. It's just like really nice. Um, so it's just like, yeah, it's just a sample size but you know, it's like, it's still pretty good. And then also that came, and then also what came along with this uh, was like a little black eyeliner which I'm really liking as well and I actually have on my eyes right now. Um, yeah, so go go pick this up. Like I have three friends that have all gone into Sephora and actually picked up the exact same gift. So I think if you were to go in there um, around this time, hopefully they'll still have the same gift if you do want this one. Um, I don't know how long they keep the same like kind of gift samples for. Who knows, maybe they handled this one for the whole year. I really have no idea. But if you do want this one, maybe just go uh, to Sephora. You can walk right up to the front hill and just say, hey, I would like to get my birthday gift. And then they just say, okay, what's your, uh, like, what's your email address for your membership? Or do you have uh, your VIP membership card? And then, yeah, and then that's it. And then you get a free little gift. So it's pretty cool. Another item that I've really, really been loving and I'm wearing right now on my face as well um, is this Clinique Even Better Foundation. Um, so I first picked this up when I was in a duty-free store in an airport and I just kind of figured like, hey, you know, I want to give Clinique a shot. I've never tried any of their makeup products before and I have a really hard time finding foundations that I like. Um, I think the price in Canada is like, I think it's around like $35 maybe or something like that. So it's not too bad. Like it is more expensive, I guess, but I feel like it's worth it. So what I like to do as well, um, because it is fairly full coverage, it's not like super, super thick, I guess, but it's still like a nice coverage. Um, but for the days that I don't really want that full coverage, I actually mix it with moisturizer and I like to use this moisturizer. I've talked about this before in a previous video. It's just like a really light uh, daytime moisturizer. So you can put this on and your skin will completely absorb this. Um, so it's like not greasy at all. It doesn't, it just, it feels amazing. Like I really like this. This is like $15 or something, maybe even $12. It's super cheap. So I actually mix like equal parts of this the moisturizer and the foundation together in the palm of my hand and then like put it all over my face kind of like a BB cream would be. And it's just like a bit lighter of a coverage. I find it really hydrating and I really like, I just like the overall feeling that the combination of these two products gives me. So if you, I think it's also a good way to save money and not buy two products because really a BB cream is just, you're just paying for like less foundation but you're buying a whole new product so why not just mix it with this, right? Um, and yeah, so I use the color, this is Golden Neutral 16. I'm also using, uh, I feel like it's number five or something. I don't know, I've been going back and forth between the two. Oh, and another reason I have been mixing these two products lately is because 
Uh, I've actually been using a lot of glycolic lately, so my skin has been kind of going a little bit lighter on my face. Um, just with the glycolic use, it's like shedding the dead skin cells. So my skin's been getting lighter, and when you mix this, it's not so thick, so you don't really notice if the colors aren't exactly matching your skin, which I really like. Um, so yeah, it's been saving me from buying a different shade as well, which I do feel like I will have to pick up a lighter shade here uh, quite soon, going into winter, but this has been doing me just fine for now. Um, again, is the Clinique Even Better Makeup, and this is called Complex 15. It is daily face cream. I'll show you guys. Okay, so another face product. This is a product I have also spoken about before. This one is a slight bit different because I have increased the percentage now. Um, so this is the Neostrata Glycolic Renewal Cream. And I really, really like Neostrata products. I've been using them for years now. Um, okay, so I like this because it really does remove like scars, and I've talked about my scars, my acne scars before. Um, this really helps get rid of them. So before I used to always use the 5%, which used to work for me, I really noticed um, with using the 5% now for like a year, it just wasn't cutting it quite as much. So I upgraded now to the 10% glycolic acid and um, I've only been using it for like a few weeks and I noticed a huge difference. I noticed a difference in um, like my scars fading a slight bit. I also have, you can't see it now because I have makeup on, but I also have like some sun damage just up here, like um, hyperpigmentation, is that what it's called? And I really noticed that's been fading a lot, a huge amount actually for only using this a few weeks. And I really like the Neostrata line of products because um, they put what matters into the product without charging you a ridiculous price. So you are getting like what you would get from a dermatologist or, or a more expensive product and I think this is like $35. So a lot of times you can pay like upwards of $80 for the exact same product. So this really works. It has what you need. It's, um, it's just a superb product. I highly recommend it. If you're a bit older and you have like uh, sunspots or any damage on your skin, try this out. Like honestly, you will not be disappointed. And with the price point, it's not too much of a risk either. And yeah, like I don't know. I think my skin looks pretty good. Good lately, yes I have makeup on and sorry it's probably hard to see in here, but I notice it just seems overall like smoother and more hydrated looking. Um, I don't know, I just really like it, so yes. Definite favorite, favorite for life, favorite for so many years. Um, okay, so this is probably a favorite of a lot of people's. This has been my like, this is another forever favorite. Um, I have used this product since I was like a teenager <laughs> and it is the Chanel perfume the number five um, this is the Eau de, Eau de perfume okay so Eau de perfume is a oil I, I think it's an oil based perfume and so the difference between Eau de perfume or Eau de toilette is that the Eau de perfume will last longer on your skin so it usually costs a bit more but it lasts longer when you spray it on your skin and this is a, a larger bottle, but you can pick it up in a 50 ml as well. And um, yeah, just absolutely love this. My mom used to wear this when I was a kid. So I think smelling it now just really reminds me of being a kid and I, and I just really like it and love it. Okay, now onto some shoes. So these have been my most favorite shoes lately. I'm just loving them. These are the shoes by the Wishbone Collection. Um, I did these in a haul video, or I, sorry, I showed these in a haul video, so you can go uh, check that out. I'll put the link down below. But I just really like these. Um, they're not like the absolute most comfortable, but you know, you can walk for a little bit in them, and yeah, they're getting dirty now. But I just like, I just really like these. I feel like, they're so easy to wear, easy to match with things, and they just, I don't know, they just like make your outfit look so much cuter, and it's like, 
it's just so effortless to do and I just think they're super cute and I love them. I love them so much. My next favorite that I've been using a lot lately is my little Alma bag by Louis Vuitton. And I don't know what is on here. Um, I love this bag. I got this like eight, maybe eight months ago. I can't remember. But like, I don't know. I just get a lot of use out of this bag. Like, I cannot recommend this bag enough. If you want a bag, like, okay, I would compare this bag in a way for usefulness, kind of like a Lady Dior, kind of like the same usefulness, possibly, but lesser of a price. Um, I just like really like it. The size isn't that bad. Like you can honestly fit what you need in here. Um, the only thing that you have to do really is downsize your normal wallet. Like if you use a larger wallet, you'll just have to switch into a smaller wallet. Other than that, like you can fit everything you need. Um, I really like this. Like I wear this in the daytime, even casually, and I bring it out a lot at night when I'm dressed up. And I just like, I love it. I love it. Like every time I look at it, it makes me really happy. I just absolutely love the choice of the silver hardware with the black. I actually like this bag so much that if I, you know, if I am able to in the future, I would even buy it in another color. Like maybe a pop of color would be cool. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like it. And then again, it comes with the strap. Um, so you can wear it cross body and I just think it's like the perfect size. Like I think it's so adorable and I like, you know sometimes you're in a restaurant and it's hard to put your purse on the back of the chair. Um, this bag is like, it's such a great size that a lot of times there's enough room even on the table like off to the side kind of by the wall or whatever. You can like just put your, your purse there and it doesn't take up too much room. I think it like looks really cute. Um, I don't know, like I just love this bag. This bag is worth every penny to me. I'm so happy about this bag. I cannot recommend this bag enough. If you are contemplating getting this bag, just get this bag, you will not regret regret it. Like the only thing I can say is because it is so stiff, you do have to be kind of careful not to like whack it into anything because it will take that impact, right? Like if you were to hit it into a like shelf corner or something like that like it probably would scratch it because there's no give so yeah we'll just like hit it hard and that's like my only concern really because it's so stiff but um other than that like it's it's pretty darn durable and and pretty good and i'm just like i'm just really in love and very impressed um so yeah that wraps up my september favorites i really hope that you like this video and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye